Well, with everything around us really closing because of the COVID-19 outbreak, we know the Houston economy is taking one huge punch. In fact, some of those hardest hit are restaurants and those who earn a living by cash tips. Trey spoke to a local restaurant owner about the impact it's having. Trey? Yeah, that's right. There's no doubt that people in the restaurant industry are really feeling it. Now, I spoke to John Reed via FaceTime. He's one of the owners of Boss Cat Kitchen and BCK here in Houston. Now, he's been in the business for a decade now, and he gave me an inside perspective on what kind of impact all of this is having on his business, what he plans to do, and why it's still safe for you to go out and support local restaurants by ordering takeout. Take a listen. We're trying to take uh, additional measures to protect our staff. You know, they are more impacted than anybody, and a lot of these guys work check to check. And uh, you know, we we have been working on a program since last week. We are not letting go of any employee. We're going to supplement their pay uh, for these 15 days to get them the bare essential. I refuse to let someone go. I refuse to leave them out in the cold. Not happening. Closing down your restaurant inside is. The takeout orders, is that enough to supplement what you're going to be missing on the inside? Or, you know, how does all that kind of play out or work, you know? No, unfortunately, uh, the takeout to go is going to be a fraction. We anticipate about a 75 to 80% decline in sales over the next 15 days. So the biggest thing right now is I think what people neglect or maybe don't understand is the restaurant business is highly governed by uh, city and state health departments. You know, and our restaurants uh, are some of the cleanest in the industry, but restaurants in general are extremely clean and their practices are way above board in comparison to corporate buildings, et cetera. And I think that people, they kind of, they get stuck thinking about the, 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 the guy on the corner, right? That they get some, you know, the local sub from or taco stand from, but big restaurant groups, you know, we, we go above and beyond. And we've, we've taken that a step further with all of our practices over the last few weeks. Houston community specifically, uh, I've never met a more resilient city. Uh, it's been an honor and a privilege to be a part of the community here. And we, we've been through this before. And uh, when that hurricane happened a couple years ago, everyone was impacted. And I saw something I'd never seen before. I saw different communities of ethnicity and race and social demographics working together. This is the same thing. This too shall pass. Um, it's going to be a couple, uh, couple weeks, maybe up to a month. It's going to be nasty, but we've been through this before. We know how to survive it. We just need to support our local businesses, whether it's my restaurants or other restaurants. I encourage you to support as many local businesses as you can. Now we know some people have been hit hard, but if the biggest impact to you is having to work from home, you can still help. Now here's what you can do. If you spent 20 to $30 a week on lunch, still go out and spend that. Just order takeout instead. Now you can also buy gift cards and use them later once the restaurant opens back up at full capacity. Now if the business or restaurant has merchandise like mugs or t-shirts, buy some. The main point here is to put money back into our local economy. And if you're one of the ones looking for work, go to local grocery stores. They're seeing a huge influx of customers and need help at their stores and the distribution centers. Guys, back to you. All right.